remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? <laughs> Bear with me. <laughs> Rapper Takashi69 wants to serve the remainder of his 24 month sentence at home <laughs> because, guess, guess. <laughs> Get this family. He want to serve the remaining, the remainder of his sentence at home because he don't feel safe. <laughs> Remember, he was just sentenced to 24 months in prison, in a federal prison. He's already done 14 months. And if the dominoes line up for him, He'll be home by August. But he says he wants to do the rest of his time at home right now or be sent to do his time at a community facility, correctional facility, because the facility that he's in right now is shock full of blood gangsters. Now remember he uh, snitched on the Nine Trade Blood Gang, several members of the Nine Trade Blood Gang. So his life is in jeopardy. But everybody knows that's the risk you take <laughs> when you get involved in gang activity. Imagine all of these gangsters all around the country, all of the gang members around the country, all of a sudden just started filing paperwork to go home because they're afraid of the gang members that are in prison. Prisons are loaded with gang members all over the United States. What if everybody said, I can't do the time here. I want to go home. My life is in jeopardy. Oh man, when I read that story, I was like, this is crazy. Dude say he want to do his time. Now keep in mind, family, this the same dude who was talking tough, telling folks to suck his you know what. Talking tough, talking about I'm ready to die. It ain't no thing. Come and get me. You know where I be. Pull up. Now he's fearing for his life. So in other words, the snitch is afraid he's going to get stitches. <laughs> hey fam, I will not apologize for laughing at someone who was so brazen about criminal activity. Remember the phone call he had when he was putting a hit on the dude in Chicago, the other rapper in Chicago? And he was telling this dude, yeah, man, I'm going to give you X amount of money, da-da-da, just all that tough talk. No, man, I don't feel nothing for it. Nothing at all. It's absolutely hilarious to me. I don't think you get to throw the first punch and then play the victim. I don't believe in that. I believe in whatever you do, stand by, good or bad, especially when it's bad, stand by. That's what I believe in. I believe in taking my bitter with my sweet. All of it is part of the process. So, yeah, it's hilarious to me. Dude want to do the rest of his time at home because he feels unsafe in prison. Question. Isn't that the point of prison anyway? Is to feel unsafe? I know some people say, no, 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 no. That's not the point. The point of prison is to 
be punished for your time, sit down, and think about what you did. That's not the point. The point of prison is for you to live in fear because that's what happens in prisons every day. Uh, not certain prisons, not some prisons. Uh, you know, of course, you know, some of the, the, the low-level prisons, you don't have to worry about stuff like that. But these maxes, like where he is, the whole point is for you to live in fear. Here's the deal. Regardless of where 6 9 goes, he will not be safe. That's including home, a community facility, or even in prison. He will not be safe, and anyone in close proximity to him, his family and loved ones, will not be safe. The best thing that they can do right now to prolong his life is to put him in solitary confinement and pray to God he don't get the same guards that Epstein had. No more talk. What, what, what the ladies talking about?